<coughs> How many of you are familiar with Richard Raw? Is that a name you know? Yeah, a lot of people do these days. And he talks about something that profoundly uh, impacted me. He talks about the fact that the name Yahweh, he thinks, is meant to be breathed, not spoken. The name of God, Yahweh, Yahweh. Try it. <laughs> it's not quite as easy as it sounds, but, you know, give it a go. Yahweh. So every breath that we take is a breathing in of the breath of God or of the presence of God. And every breath that we give out is a sharing of the breath of God and of the love of God with others. Again, you know, <clears throat> of course, the Bible starts with God breathing on the earth and the creation of humankind. And you think of that, I think, you know, the, the expression it says is scooped up dirt or, you know, some say dust. And I think, I don't think God scooped up dust. It sounds awfully sterile. I think that God reached down into the wonderful, loamy, rich, composted soil <laughs> of creation that he had already created, breathed on that, probably breathed in the essence of it to start with, and then breathed out into it, and humankind became living beings. The eternal God scooped dirt out of the ground, sculpted it into the shape we call human, breathed the breath that gives life into the nostrils of the human, and the human became a living soul. We're going to do this. <clears throat> I'll read the first panel, and then the next panel we'll say together, uh, and then we'll do that again. There are four panels uh, with this prayer. Breathe in the breath of God. Breathe out your cares and concerns. Breathe in the love of God. Breathe out your doubts and despair. Breathe in the life of God. Breathe out your fears and frustrations. And now together, we sit quietly before the one who gives life and love to all creation. We sit in awe of the one who formed us in our mother's wombs. We sit at peace, surrounded by the one who fills every fiber of our being. Breathe in the breath of God. Breathe out your tension and turmoil. Breathe in the love of God. Breathe out your haste and hurry. Breathe in the life of God. Breathe out your work and worries. Together, we sit quietly before the one who gives life and love to all creation. We sit in awe of the one who formed us in our mother's wombs. We sit at peace, surrounded by the one who fills every fiber of our being. The second time we find the breath of God in scripture is when Jesus breathes and the disciples are filled with the Holy Spirit. Jesus says, I give you the gift of peace. In the same way the Father sent me, I now send you. Now he drew close enough to each of them that they could feel his breath. He breathed on them. Welcome the Holy Spirit of the living God. <clears throat> Let's say this together. Uh, as we consider the infilling of the Spirit. Breathe out, empty yourself of hate, of fear, of anxiety. Breathe in, fill yourself with love, with life, with mercy. Breathe out, 
empty yourself of bitterness, of selfishness, of greed. Breathe in, fill yourself with peace, with joy, with hope. Breathe out, empty yourself of idolatry, of self-worship, of false gods. Breathe in, fill yourself with God, with Christ, with the Holy Spirit. And the third time we hear about the breath of God is in terms of the scriptures. You know, all scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in, uh, in righteousness. You know, all of creation and the word of God are intimately involved with the breath of God in so many wonderful ways. God, breathe on us. In the valley of dry bones, in the midst of mourning, in the place of death, God breathe in us on our dried up promises, on our abandoned dreams, on our unfulfilled hopes. God breathe through us. Let your spirit bring back hope. Let your love renew your promises. Let your word refresh and restore. Three in one, one in three, breathe on us, breathe in us, breathe through us. Fill us with resurrection life. Interestingly, as we grow older, we have to learn to breathe again um, because we breathe too shallowly. Uh, We need to learn to breathe deeply. And one of the things, you know, that I go to group health is that they, they have these exercises for teaching us to breathe deeply and to breathe, you know, from our abdomens and not just kind of from up here. And there are a lot of things in our world and in our lives that restrict our breathing. Pollution, of course, does. Anxiety, you know, makes us breathe more shallowly. Stress does. Believe it or not, fashion can as well. Wearing high heel shoes actually restricts your breathing. Uh, and, there, and, you know, of course, tight garments and things like that. You know, women's corsets, of course, at different times of history have been, you know, created. I mean, the reason women used to faint was because they couldn't breathe, you know, um, at times. So there are different things that restrict our breathing. And for all of us, they're different. But we need to learn to breathe not just physically, but spiritually, we need to learn to breathe deeply again. You know, to breathe with the whole of our being, really, because what those breathing exercises do is they teach us to breathe from the bottom of our being, as it were, and the whole of our being. And so that really is part of what we need to do. So as we finish here, I just want us to, you know, this is the last prayer and the last thing before I hand over to Nancy. Let's say this one together and, you know, let's start with taking a couple of deep breaths in and out, trying to do it from the bottom of your abdomen. Um, It's not easy when you've got a bit of congestion in your nose, as I have at the moment. We're trying to breathe in as deeply as you can and then we'll do a couple of those and then we'll say this prayer. And together, Lord Jesus Christ, I breathe in the wonder of your love and say thank you. I breathe in the fragrance of your life and say thank you. I breathe in the joy of your presence and say thank you. Thank you for love and life and presence. Thank you for abundance and generosity and faithfulness. Thank you for blessings that overflow. I breathe in and am filled with the glory that is you. Amen and amen. Thank you.